Seriously, Brad. If you treat her right, she might make you a darn good employee. What do you mean, treat her right? What's wrong with her? She's a woman, isn't she? Women in the workforce. One of the largest groups of discrimination in the world today is women in the workforce. According to Article 23 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, everyone without any discrimination has the right to equal pay for equal work. Societal norms and roles instruct and encourage men to devalue women in the U.S. even when there are anti-discrimination laws in place to discourage such attitudes. Many people wonder why this happens to women and not to men. This derives from the fact that men have been in power when it comes to the workforce for centuries. The sexism that has been weaved into our society has continued to prevail and affect women that are in the workforce. According to the Pew Research Center, about 4 in 10 working women, that's 42% in the U.S., say that they have faced discrimination on the job because of their gender. This is a clear issue that occurs all around the world. According to research, women in majority male workplaces are less likely to see fair treatment of women or adequate attention to gender diversity. Did you know that on average, women get paid only 80 cents for every one dollar that a man makes? Workplaces that women feel the most discriminated against in is the army, construction working, and the medical field. The medical field is a workplace where women, especially nurses, tend to be discriminated against by their supervisors who are usually men. I got the chance to interview Donna Chase, who is a nurse at Children's Hospital. Hi Donna Chase, thank you for agreeing to have an interview with me today. What degree did you need to become a nurse? I got my four-year bachelor degree in nursing. Uh, how many years have you been a nurse? 28. Um, what are some things that you do in this job? So I work in a unit that is it's called the short stay unit. So we take care of kids that are less sick. So not a lot of, not long night stays, or not long period stays, you do no, shorter? No, not in my unit, no. Um, have you or anyone you know ever felt discriminated against because you are a woman in the medical field? Personally, no, I have not felt discriminated against. I mean, I'm sure it's happened, but... Many women in the workplace don't report discrimination because they don't think anything will be done about it. This is a common problem that women face when working and is the reason why we need more people to stand up for it. Um, would you say your pay has been affected because of being a woman? No, because everybody, regardless if you're male or female, we're all on the same pay scale. I don't, because we're a union. Mm -hmm. so. Like many nurses in Minnesota, Donna is part of the Minnesota Nurses Association which is a union that pushes policy for women's right in the medical field. So the union really helps out with that. Without the union by Donna's side, she would be experiencing a gender pay gap, which is what women across the globe are experiencing on a day-to-day -day basis. Have you ever seen or experienced levels of hierarchy in your position? Sometimes. Okay. Kind of a pecking order thing. Right. <laughs> This is a very typical situation that happens when men are in power. They tend to abuse their power to their advantage. Have your direct supervisors been more male or female? Uh, my manager is a male and my assistant manager is a female. So it's just probably the last 15 years that the man was the... Things been going smooth since then too? Well, sure. He's, <laughs> he's a little unorganized and he's got too many things going on. So. Whether, I don't know if a woman could handle that better than he could. Mm -hmm. Maybe more organizational skills. I don't yeah. know. Uh, how do you think you got to where you are today? Well, I just stuck with it. If you could change one thing about your profession, what would it be? Sometimes I think we feel kind of like waitresses. I mean, these families mm -hmm. just think that we're their servants and, you know, call lights going on all the time. Yeah. I need another glass of water. <laughs> you know, there's little petty little things that they could get up and do themselves. So right. Kind of maybe some less waitressy kind of things and... Cool. Well, thank you for interviewing with me today. You are welcome. Donna, Good luck. Yeah. Thank you. As you can see, this is a clear issue that occurs to women all across the world. People in power, such as bosses and senators, 
It helps stop discrimination by enforcing things in the workplace that support women all around. Another way that bosses can help women in the workplace is by hiring more women. One woman gets hired for every three men that get hired in the workplace. So this would be a good way for bosses to even out the work distribution. Wondering what you could do about it? By calling out anyone that makes a sexist remark or a degrading comment towards women, you're helping. Even if a little comment is made, it's the little steps that count. Another step that you could take is writing a letter to your city representative stating that you want more policies that advocate for women and treat women with respect. It all starts with you.